Two A-10 Warthogs alone destroyed 23 Iraqi tanks in a single day during the Gulf War because of how brilliantly they performed. Yet you don't always succeed. Lieutenant Colonel Bob Sweet and Stephen R. Phyllis, the flight lead captain, were on a mission to find the Iraqi Republican Guard tanks on February 15, 1991, about 80 miles north of the Kuwaiti border. Since none of the A-10s had ever ventured that far into Iraqi airspace before, Sweet was nervous. When they arrived, the Iraqis fired heavy anti-aircraft fire at them, so they started to navigate away from the area as per the standing orders, which were to depart in such a situation to prevent being shot down when they noticed a row of tanks that had not yet been struck. They launched an attack, but this time, an Iraqi SAM was fired in response, but missed the A-10s. Sweet looked in the direction the missile was fired from and was about to strike the launch site when he felt a bump from behind. Sweet's A-10 was hit and the right wing was on fire. Sweet ejected after realizing he couldn't save the aircraft. During the incident, Captain Phyllis was also shot and killed. Sweet was imprisoned until being released 19 days later.